clever dog. First thing I have to do, it's still dark out. Dawn is not broke. The gloaming is occurring. Just turn on the lights. And come out to the yard where we'll be greeted by everything that's in the shed. Is that right? You all there? Hey, babies. Yeah. How are you, beautiful lady? How are you? Okay, everything else is two-handed. So I will stop filming with my one hand. baby. Here you go. Your own private meal. Sneaking up a few crumbs. Isn't that what you're, oh, what you frightened of? Oh, you couldn't see my hand because you're main. You silly girl. Now to go feed the boys. Everybody else is happy. And the birds are still singing. Hey boys. Hmm. You've knocked your hay rack down in the stable. I have to lift that up and refill it up with hay, won't I? I have to clean out. I always put the clean straw into their feed bucket. No, boys. Oh, bugger. Oh, well, some of it's on the floor there, but they've got some in the trough. Never mind. Silly me. Okay, gotta pick that up now. That's a two handed job. Rams, chickens, all fed. So I now only have to put little Miss Blackbird back in with her mother and, uh, and grandmother who are waiting. And you guys. Isn't that right? Everybody is fed. There's nothing in the bucket. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, Brindle. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Atta girl, Inca. Good girl. Sheep are all tidily back in. The adult alpaca blocker is taken down. 
Oh, and there goes Mustard. Hey, Mustard! How are you? Beautiful kitty. Yeah, how are you? Beautiful kitty. You want your breakfast? As do I. No, there's nothing in there. It's empty. It's an empty bucket. Now to put back with all the other buckets for the next feeding. Isn't that right? How are you doing, Ebony? Yeah, and you need a head scratch. Oh, do you need a neck scratch? You need a neck scratch. Oh, you're desperate for a head scratch. Competition of one hand between an alpaca and a sheep. Well, the alpacas have given up on me. Have you given up on me? Hmm? And then the horse is over there. Okay. Breakfast for dogs. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Maya? Breakfast for dogs! Breakfast for dogs! Yeah! I have to put my empty buckets over here for the next feeding. Oh! I'm such a messer. Oh, and I have one final bit of information about St. Bridget's Day that I will introduce you to that I only just recently learned, which I found fascinating. I forgot all about it earlier. I now remembered. Come on, pups. Come on. Let's go in for dog breakfast and human breakfast. Come on, good dogs. How are you, kitty? Yes. Yeah. 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 Time for breakfast for cats, too. Isn't that right? Cat breakfast. Do, 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 do. Tightrope walking, kitty. You can turn around. Can you come back again? Oh, you're such a clever kitty. Oh, you're such a clever kitty. You're such a clever kitty. Here are my beautiful black chickens. And interestingly, when the Irish ended up in New Orleans, they introduced Bridget, St. Bridget, to a lot of the Africans and Cajuns in the Louisiana Bayou, etc. And so St. Bridget became a saint of theirs and was represented by a black chicken or a black cock. So St. Bridget is fertility, water, health, all kinds of things. Represents the second coming of spring, the rising of the dead, etc. Kind of like a Persephone of Irish lore. Anyway, black chickens are said by the Cajuns to represent St. Bridget. And so here are my black chickens.